Good evening, Team Super Dad One Habit Challenge crew. This is the graduation party. <laughs> there is a glass there. Ta da! Yes. I'm not a magician. It's just the, uh, you know, the magic background thing. Welcome. This is night seven of the One Habit Challenge, and it is absolutely awesome to have you here. When I started this challenge just what or oh, probably about 12 days ago, maybe you know, it wasn't to 10, but it was about 12 days ago. It took something for me to I've done challenges before, right? I've, I've done the Happy Dad challenge. I've done, run that a couple of times. Um, we've done a rebuild challenge for single dads about a year ago, 18 months ago. So it's not that the challenge was new. But it was about making something happen, like not uh, being stopped by it's got to be this way or it's got to be that way. My coach stressed to me, you want to take imperfect action, like consistent, imperfect action, rapid, imperfect action. There's an expression uh, about don't. What's it called? <laughs> ready, aim, fire. Yeah, like only shoot when you're ready okay there's that you flip it round okay so shoot ready aim and shoot aim <laughs> i've had a drink okay but not not loads of drink i'm just i'm just i'm just getting the clarity in my mind but the but the point is about is about shooting like just getting the gun out getting it up there and like flipping letting one go seeing where it goes right get yourself in the game okay I'm pretty sure it's, it's things as I said it, I realized it didn't sound quite right. It's not ready, aim, fire. It's shoot, <laughs> it's, it's shoot, aim, ready, or shoot, ready, aim. But the, the, like I said, the point is, is just getting out on the pitch and firing the gun, okay? Not waiting for everything to be perfect and lined up. Because in that period of time, whilst you're trying to get everything else perfect, other stuff will have happened, okay? Other stuff will have happened. And that's not. The goal here, the goal is about momentum. It's about evolving yourself. It's about learning, okay? And in this graduation tonight, in this passing out ceremony, like to reach the top and win the game, what have you won? Oh, you've won a seven-day challenge to give up one habit or to start one habit. That's, that's not a big thing. And at the same time, it could have been a huge thing. If you've done 20 press-ups a day for the last seven days and you hadn't done any press-ups, for the last year, then that is massive. If you gave up cigarettes, porn, booze, alcohol, if you told your wife something positive, something that you appreciate her for, if you told her some a reason you love her, if you did that every single day this last seven days, your relationship will be transformed on a level you couldn't imagine from just something so simple, okay? It's small, consistent actions that win the day. In my digital marketing agency days, uh, clients would be frustrated about either the cost or the time or even the results. And the question would be, how do I win? How do I win? And the answer was always, just keep going. Because so few of your competitors will be able to consistently do this day in, day out for a long period of time. They might have a big spike, spend loads, get some guru in, whatever the thing might be that propels them in that moment. But if they stop, it'll all be for nothing. I shared with a client the other day a video uh, to remind them of the story of the hare and the tortoise. Okay? The hare and the tortoise, the classic old childhood fable, parable, you know. I'm sure you know it. If you don't know it, <laughs> there's a race. The hare says, I'm going to beat you, tortoise, you're flipping slow and shit. The tortoise says, yeah, okay, whatever. The hare runs off, all arrogant, stops off, takes some breaks, shows off, chats up some women. In the end, the tortoise catches up and right at the line, if you watch the classic Disney one, uh, the tortoise, I don't want to spoil it for you, but <laughs> something happens at the finish line, which illustrates to everybody, to you, and as I'm sharing this, that 
those small consistent actions, believing in yourself, knowing yourself to be something greater than your thoughts and feelings like I can't be bothered, I don't want to do this, it's too hard, what's the point, I'm addicted, right? That's the message in today's graduation ceremony. It's about who you know yourself to be from taking on a, a habit. Someone that can say, I'm going to do this and actually stick to it. Like integrity, doing what you said you were going to do or doing what others would expect you to do, even though you haven't said it. And dot, dot, dot. And if you don't stick to it, clearing it up. Right. Not leaving it dangling like, oh, yeah, well, I don't want to talk to them because I didn't do this thing or just ignore it, like carry on like they didn't notice because, of course, they did. OK, so that 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 distinction, that that element, that second element to integrity is vital because and this is a landmark thing. Right. I learned it at landmark. It's it's not about you've always got to do what you said you were going to do. Otherwise, you're a bad person. Right. Stuff happens. Things go wrong. I said this call would be at 630 and it didn't start till 750 an hour and 20 minutes late, okay? So we need to get that elephant out of the room. Um, I've had a wonderful day, an absolutely brilliant day. My girlfriend went and had a photo shoot. She's a personal trainer and a coach. And oh my gosh, not only did she look stunning, but she radiated confidence at a level I've not seen in her in the 14 months that we've been dating. And so as well as looking stunning, this extra layer of beauty came out because she was so confident and so buzzing. And uh, and then we got stuck in traffic on the M25 coming home. Sorry. Uh, to anybody that was expecting the call at, at 6.30 and then they you know, wasn't here. Obviously, that's messed with your evening. And then you might be watching this on the replay instead of staying, seeing it live. And so you've missed out there on the value of that. So I want to apologize for that, too. Knowing yourself as something bigger, as someone who's able to take on a challenge and win, as someone who's got the drive and conviction, the ability to push through challenges, to inspire and involve other people, that's what a simple activity like giving something up or starting something new for seven days can provide you. Okay, so yes, it's a moment to celebrate. It's only seven days, though. And so if you want a habit to stick, if you want to put that habit back in the past and leave it in the past, you're going to need to carry this on. Different books, different gurus, different ways of thinking will tell you that a habit will take 21 days to stick. It will take 30 days to stick. It will take four to 10,000 hours of practice before something becomes well, before someone becomes an expert, like, there's lots of things about habits and how long they take to stick. What I know from my experience is that doing something for about 30 days a month, Lent was 40 days, right? Doing something for that amount of time is where you start to have the real experience of being and thinking different about something whether it be chocolate or exercise, cigarettes, booze, porn, whatever it might be. You've got to reprogram. You've got to break through and reprogram. And only by consistent action over an extended period of time will that happen. As far as fitness goes, oh, my gosh, it's going to take longer than that. You know, the first, if you're unfit, the first three months, is, you're going to feel pretty crap for three months. It's only when you get to the end of that sort of 12 weeks where you really start to notice a change, in, a significant change in your body, a significant change in your attitude towards doing that exercise. OK, so stick with it. Trying to do it on your own. Well, don't do that. Um, I'm still here. The group will stay live. You can participate in the group. You can share your highs and lows, your requests for help and support. And of course, you can jump on your clarity call with me. This is a no sale, one on one opportunity for you to share with me what you're up to and why it's of significance, why it matters, what's at stake, and for me to put some insight and value into that. If you want to take it further from that, then that's fine. We'll have another follow up call. But a clarity call is simply that it's, a, it's an opportunity for you to get some clarity over this subject. OK. So. Are you beginning to know yourself 
in a different way around this subject or in fact overall. Seven days is just the tip of the iceberg. It's the opportunity to sense something, to catch a whiff of it in the air. You, you, you taste it on the end of your tongue and you want some more. Okay. You might ask people around you, what's it been like? Okay. People have a lot of thoughts. People notice stuff. Whether you're anxious, stressed, happy, sad, people notice way more than you think they notice. And the thing as humans that we very, very rarely do <clears throat> is ask other people, what do you think about that? Or how am I, what am I like when? What have you noticed about me this week? It's powerful to find out how other people see you because it gives you an opportunity to reflect on that yourself. And as you look at this new habit, you can then add it on. It's like a utility belt. You're powering up, you're layering up your, your energy and drive for this new way of being, this new you, okay? So, seven days, seven days, a, a simple challenge. We're gonna be running the One Habit Challenge approximately once every eight weeks. Slightly different to this one, we're going to pick a subject and we're going to go for that across the week. It might be no booze, it might be seven days of press ups, it might be no coffee, it might be gratitude, appreciation, telling someone you love them. It may be meditation or the who am I exercise in the mirror. All powerful stuff to shift you from where you are right now, perhaps a life you feel stuck in to the life you want to be in. And as I said the other day, this isn't just about success or how much money you've got. It's about the next step and the next step and the next step for you to keep going and keep growing in your life. No more pussying around and accepting second best. No, there's very few people who reach the top. And your top might be different from my top. But when we get to the end of our life, are you going to be able to say, I fulfilled my dreams and I fulfilled my potential? Because if you're honest with yourself, if you're not going to be able to say that on your final day, then it's time to shake it up now. Comment on this video. Get yourself booked on the clarity call. There'll be a link in the chat, it just says teamsuperdad.com forward slash 30 call. And like I said, that's not a sales call. It's just an opportunity for you to share what you're up to, what's important, what's working, what's not working, and to get some clarity and insight about taking that forward. I feel honored and privileged to have spent this last seven days with you. I do not underestimate the effort that it's taken you. I'll leave you to decide whether you put 100% in or not. And if you didn't, that's okay. But just noticed what the gap was, what was missing that would have had you participate 100%, what you missed out on by not participating 100%, and where you could be today if you had done. Because that's what it's all about, the kickstart, the springboard, the turbo boost into the future to be the man you want to be and live the life that you deserve this has been the one habit challenge i look forward to having our conversation in the clarity call seeing you in the team super dad group and um at all else participating in the next one habit challenge tell your friends tell your family tell every dad you know my name is johnny jensen this has been the one habit challenge team super dad out